No, no, I'm more relaxed today, believe me. <laughs> when the medication wears off. Yeah. So what was the first conversation you guys had about this particular material? John said, read this book, it's amazing. You know. I got, got it from the producers who, uh, I was looking for a gangster movie. I love gangster films, but my problem was to find something new in that world. Mm -hmm. And these, uh, and then I got this book from uh, the Red Wagon people and uh, it, it sort of was so fresh from the, the fact that it was in the rural, mm -hmm you know, Appalachian backwoods uh, about those people at the bottom of the mm -hmm. pyramid that were building up the Capones in the big city. So, and so you just said... And I mean, initially for me, yeah. I was like, look, I told you I don't want to write um, screenplays of, of other people's stories. If, we, mm -hmm. if yeah. we want to make a film, let's sit down and write, a, write our own story. Mm -hmm. yeah. But he said, look, just read the book and so I so I read it and it, and it was it, it was full of the most beautiful dialogue the most wonderful scenes it was mm -hmm. violent it was it was tender all of these sorts of things and the book the book was an absolute uh, absolute you know stone cold masterpiece mm -hmm. so it, it was suddenly like hmm you know this is not only going to be a really easy thing to do because the the, the, the story was so strong um, it would make a great film. So what is it a unique challenge for you to actually adapt something? It's, it's kind of a pride thing, isn't it? You know, that you don't want to do someone else's story. That, that's actually what mm -hmm. was at the, at the basis of my hesitation of doing that in the past. Mm -hmm. You know, I consider myself to be a storyteller that has been t telling stories for the last 30 years. I don't want to tell someone else's story, do you know right. what I mean? But this, this, uh, this was so close to what what we what we are concerned with is as as me as a writer and John as a filmmaker that mm. it it seemed like a good thing to do. Well, it's interesting that this and the proposition both seem to kind of have a an element that's about a moment of great change in the world that you you come to a point and here's a group that's staying in the past and here are people moving forward whether the forward people are good or bad is another yeah. Yeah. issue but that does seem to be a thematic connection. Mm. Well, it's those. Well, it's not those periods that are, are the um, that are so much uh, of interest. It's the family stories that happen in front of a backdrop of this kind of change. Uh, so, um. Yeah, because it, it's like the. Uh, I mean, the uh, even the road had that uh, against that huge backdrop is this very personal story um, and those characters are so rich in their personal journey that they say we feel they say more about those big things than than when you look at the big things you just get overwhelmed you know it becomes a spectacle mm -hmm. and uh, as opposed to a, a you know about us so do you guys stay in touch through the process of putting the screenplay together? Is that yeah, very much yeah. so. Yeah, oh, we yeah. check in. Not check well, in. it's a da it's almost <laughs> daily. Mm -hmm. And how long is the pro how long was the process on that? To write this one? Yeah. I mean, the first draft was stop and start. Really, it kind of was pretty quick. The first initially. one was a couple of weeks yeah. for the first draft, and then. Huh. Um, and I, and I did base yeah, right. it. I mean, I was I was bowled over by the book, so I based it. Pretty much, I just wrote the book mm -hmm. and uh, and sent it off, and and the producers came back with the kind of um, just like the the euph euphemistic uh, <laughs> thing that well, you've busted its cherry. Now there's well, now now let's now do let's the work. Let's make a movie. movie. And I'm like, for fuck's sake. <laughs>